Just over a year ago, Juni's life and that of his family changed for the worse. Scientists are now working to change it for the better. Juni lives near Turku in Finland. Once a busy executive manager, he now spends all his time with his family. Brain injuries suffered in a car crash on a business trip in Dubai have left the 47-year-old unable to work. My head was actually going back first and then in front and then I hit my head into, into the seat of a driver and, and then I was rolling in a car somewhere. I, I don't have any, any picture of that anymore. The severity of his injuries only became apparent sometime after the accident. He would get regular blackouts. He lost mobility in parts of his body. Rehabilitation has helped improve his quality of life, but problems remain. <laughs> I'm li living with, with constant pain and, and a different kind of, of difficulties, like with the balance, with the memory. I cannot walk here alone. I can just, uh, I can get lost. So it's about learning new way of living with new rules. How can traumatic brain injury patients like Juni get a second chance? Traumatic brain injuries or TBIs are difficult to treat. As every trauma is different and because our brains control virtually all bodily functions, it's often a challenge for neurologists to offer a clear diagnosis, treatment and rehabilitation. To that end, a European research project has developed a huge interactive database of TBI-related physiology patterns to help doctors help their patients with comprehensive and valuable information. All a clinical background, what kind of uh, diseases has this person has had before? Are there any earlier injuries? What kind of injuries this one? What kind of uh, drugs have been used? Uh, all that kind of stuff and what uh, does the imaging tell us and what does the bio blood biomarkers tell us. Engineers combined algorithms and statistical models so that the platform can help to accurately predict the outcome of planned individual treatments. There's quite often missing data. Not, it's not always possible to, to take pictures or to take blood samples in certain circumstances. So what we do is we make robust methods that are reliable, even if there is missing data, but also methods that, that really are understandable for clinicians. Juni is now fully engaged in a customized rehabilitation program that even includes making a speech at a seminar on traumatic brain injuries. After some difficult months, he says he's now looking forward to the future. I'm trying to find uh, this kind of, of, of good balance from music, from friends, maybe some kind of voluntary work. Maybe when time goes, uh, I can do this kind of um, voluntary work with the other uh, patients who are in a similar situation. Then maybe I can support them in the, in the early phase. Things like that.